Hello, friends and visitors. It's your girl, Corinne Nicole, and welcome back to my channel. I have been sick, you guys, so my 12 days of Christmas have been um, off. Um, I'm not going to get into the complete 12 days. I'm going to pick off where I left off with my list, and I'm just going to go with whatever day today is. So if you'd like to see this mom tag with me, then keep on watching. Hey, player, what you gonna get hot for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna get that for? Alright you guys, thank you guys for coming back to my channel and again I'm sorry that my 12 days of Christmas is a little bit off but I've been sick and I had to make sure that I was fine and make sure that I was not getting Chris K sick. So I've decided that I'm going to do this mom tag just so you guys can get to know me as a mom. But before you guys do that, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it, thumbs it up and keep on coming back for much more. And again I want to thank you guys for helping me get for helping me get to the 500 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much. So let's jump into these questions. The very first question says, how old were you when you had your first child? I had my first child when I was 20. I had Christopher when I was 20 years old. I was fairly young, but not too young. Um, I was still in college. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, what was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? Hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months at the age of 20 was not being able to go out. The hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months at this age is not being able to drink, not being able to use your body the way that you would like to use your body. And number three, can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months? I enjoyed feeling the baby's kicks. I enjoyed being able to bond with them. With Prince K, I enjoyed the glow he gave me. Um... I enjoyed giving my body that rest, even though I was like, hey, this is not what I'm used to. I'm used to having my cape on, doing everything that I'm supposed to do, wanted to do, and everything that everybody else needs me to do. Um, in my opinion, were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off? Um, I did not have a vaginal birth with any of them, so the stories I heard were about vaginal births. So when I had a cesarean section, it was a different story for me. It was my own birth story as opposed to what someone else had been telling me. Would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it? No, my babies are here. They're healthy. They're lovable. No, I wouldn't change anything. What would be your advice for someone who is about to have a baby? Enjoy every single moment. The moments when you're pregnant, the moments when you first have your baby, those moments of silence, those moments when they're growing up, those laughable moments, those make you mad moments, all those moments, cherish each one of them because they go by so fast and you never know when it's going to be the last time you get them off of you. Alright, it says what has been the hardest thing about being a mom? The hardest thing about being a mom is feeling like you are not doing enough. For me, I'm constantly doing things for my kids, trying to give them everything they want, everything they need, love them, play with them, give them these experiences and these moments, but I always feel like I am not doing enough. So that is the hardest part for me and as well as not being able to spend as much time with them because of constantly working after school programs, volunteering for cheerleading, all that good stuff. But I am promising myself and my three babies that they will not get in the way anymore. Oh, my phone locked up on me. Okay. What has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? The most rewarding thing about being a mom is seeing my children grow up and just be awesome people. What was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? The most surprising thing is knowing that you have enough love in your heart to give to all of them. What is the best memory you have involving your child? Um, let's see. The best moment I have with Christopher will definitely be a couple years back. Um, prior to this particular moment, my son was like afraid of outside. Anything, bugs would, would not go out there. Um, a couple years back. I was like, where is Christopher? I know he went outside, but I was like, where is Christopher? My son is in the woods picking up a caterpillar. And I was like, yes, <laughs> he's turning into a boy boy. <laughs> so yes, that is the memorable, a memorable moment with Christopher. As far as Phoenix, let me think. I think every moment with Phoenix is just memorable because she is so dramatic. It's so over the top that it is just 
Oh, there it is. And right now, Prince K, every moment with him. Even with Christopher, every moment with him is amazing. But I would never forget that I went out public with my child and he was in the woods playing with a caterpillar. So, yes. Um, what was the most exciting milestone? For Christopher, it would be him playing basketball. That was really awesome because I was like, that's my baby want to be athletic. So, that was a very incredible milestone for me with Christopher with the Phoenix. Losing her teeth it could because it has become a family joke, a family thing that we talk about. Well, that has been a great milestone, just her. What is the worst thing your child has ever done? Both of my children like to lie. <laughs> like, they will lie about anything. So, yes. Um, what habit did you wish your child didn't have? I wish they did not lie to me. And they lie about little silly things. Like, did you clean your room? Yes. Did you brush your teeth? Yes. No. Did you put lotion on your face? Yes. No. So they lie about little silly things. So if that was a habit I wish they did not have, that would be the one. What habit of theirs makes you most proud? Um, Phoenix is very competitive. So that's with everything. Her um, schoolwork, cheerleading, anything. And she's very competitive with that. So that is the habit that I really am proud of because not that I want her to be the best of the best, but I want her to have that pride in herself to be, hey, I gotta do better. This ain't good enough. Let me do something better. Okay. Um with Christopher, oh, his habit of trying to figure things out. He's one of those he likes to why does this work? Why does that work? How? Why do you feel like that? He tries to figure things out instead of just kind of assuming and going with the flow. He likes to figure it out. Do you share any similarities with your child, both physical and personality? Yes. Um, our children, my my children, have a lot of my facial features, my physical features. As far as personality, I don't know because I feel like that's so dramatic and so off the top, and I am so regular. But I may be dramatic enough to they make it that for me. But they do get their smarts for me because my baby's very smart and they like they're very smart as well. Um I don't know. I don't know about the personality. Like where would you like your child to be in ten years? In ten years, my son will be twenty one. I would like to see him getting ready to finish college. Well he may go. Okay. My daughter is six, so at sixteen. I want to see her in high school, excelling, possibly in the band, being a majorette like I was at 16. Possibly, you know, that's what she wants to do. Kaysen will be 10. Um, so I just want to see him getting into his personality, showing himself. Um, next one says, what is something that having a child has taught you? Patience. Having children has taught me patience creativity <laughs> and it just taught a lot taught me a lot about myself too. So did you imagine that you'd be a mom at the age that you became a mom? No. I've always wanted a lot of kids, but I didn't think that I would have my first child at twenty. I thought I would finish college, party a little bit, get married and then have children. Did not think that I would be pregnant at twenty. So no that that did surprise me. Um, describe the bar child in this single sentence. Chris Phoenix is dramatic. Christopher is intelligently naive. <laughs> That's what he is. Christopher is intelligently naive. And Casey is just so precious. <laughs> um, how would you, how have your how have you changed as a person since becoming mom? I have slowed down my lifestyle. I have become more driven, more focused. And hustling. <laughs> gotta make that money for these children. So that has been the mom tag. Hope you got to know me better as a mom and my children. So if you'd like to see more videos from me, if you'd like to see what else I have for 12 Days of Christmas, then make sure you comment down in, this, in the comment section. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.